turn off. Watch for a couple seconds. An outdoor pavilion out here. And that's the property line, and then it goes across the known homestead. And the, and the county loves us. What's that? And the county loves us. Yeah, Cock County's welcoming of us here. They want tiny homes in Cock County, Tennessee. And we're going to follow the state regs and do it right. Here's a little, little bridge going across this small creek right in there. We're going to clean all this out. Guess what it can look like? Go to brotherscove.com. And that's 450 acres that I used to own and develop a piece of property. I guarantee you this will be an absolute picture when we get done. This will be off grid back in here. It's Tom. Is this where you came from? Straight up the hill. Oh, you kept going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, man, up through there. And there are 25 acres straight back. And it's not that bad. It looks deep, but it's not that bad. We can go right up. I mean, it goes way up to the yeah. top. Let's go back that way. Man, look at that sky. Which way we walk, Tom? Right up to that, right? Yeah. There's blackberries all over. I think we should go to the right. Like yeah. Right Got it? Oh, it's gotta be a new club, man. Look, he said, Ty said, is the Tom actually being filmed yeah, on Tom Facebook? Being filmed. I'm trapped. Oh, he's beautiful. I'm trapped. You guys got a piece of him. He's absolutely the next star here, buddy. You all right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hope I don't fall off this thing. All this is buildable, man. Look here. Beautiful. I'm gonna drive everybody crazy bouncing like this.
there, Tom. Look at that. Yeah, that's where we walk. That's the property line and a fence right through here. This is it right here. Man. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow. Wow. It stays flat and it'll drop off to the right, but it's pretty wide. We can probably fit a couple homes right through there. Oh, it, there's a gap and it turns left. Yeah, and then once you get on the other side of that, there's another flat spot up there you can put them. That's down there where that second culvert is down there. We didn't go that route. We go back down to the flat field and go to the right instead. You good? There's another culvert that goes over there. You okay? There's I'm already dying. power back here. One of your eyes. I'm peeling into pieces, into ashes right now. I'm dying. <laughs> well, you hot? Oh. He asked me if I was okay. <laughs> oh. He's over here like... Well, yeah, with an off-grid community, we don't have to be completely done, finished up or anything. We just start, we start moving them in. All we have to do is just make spots and go. So we're going to grow into this area back here. We'll mow down there, make spots, and then move people in this area. So with off-grid, we don't need power, electric. We don't need anything. We just need an off-grid home. So hopefully we'll be able to. Turkey and deer in here. Oh, yeah, they had deer tracks and scat everywhere. This is awesome. Yeah, but we can move people in when we're just when you're ready. Really? Yep. Wait, we need to go up there. You can, there's even more up that way. Do it. And then down at that, that telephone pole down there, I want to see that. I want to see where the old house is. That's where you got to go, that telephone pole. Sorry for the vibrating. I'm, <clears throat> I'm just giving you guys a quick run how pretty land is up here. This is where we're heading for an off grid community. I'm talking. Real off grid. Or Kevin wants something. Oh. Let's show. Yeah. If we do an off grid, what I'm going to do is is put the solar, the water, and the gray water system on your home for cost. Um, just for a like a two-year lease here, two hundred dollars a month, totally private. Look at this. I can stick homes back. Can we stick homes back here, we Tom? We stick homes back in here. We got plenty of flat spot here, and then on back there's more. Look at this, man. And it goes back get back in there. Now they said we haven't been back there yet. They said there's a whole other flat spot back there. Let's take it up and go to the left. I guess up to that point up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, you follow that fence line up there and to the left. Yeah. I'll save you a spot, Dr. Ruth. I'll save you a spot. We got a spot. This is awesome. And then I'm going to show you our Nashville property. We do the same thing. It's a little different. This is really East Tennessee property like this. This is a small road. Believe it or not, it doesn't take much to make it happen. Look. Sorry for the jiggling. Man, it looks like pictures I've seen out of New Zealand or something. Got no butt. Go, man. You can do it. Play good. What's wrong with it? Do you have to stay like that? 
Maybe out of fuel. Let me walk up here. This is where my two feet kick in better than a four wheeler. I'm not good on mechanical stuff. Home actually can come up here. Now, we're thinking about accessing some of this property with a four wheeler or a golf cart. If you're off grid, we can put you up here. Look here. You can live up here, but you have to access it by foot or a golf cart. I swear we're thinking about offering this. Hey, Why not? No, you're all right, buddy. Go ahead. So we'll bush hog this, clean it out really nice. Have this road come up through here, and we can pull your tiny home right up in here. Tell me, is that not awesome? Wow. Yeah, it sure would, Travis. I, I want to do the, the Hobbit and Snow White up through here like this. That's, it just fits the decor like River Bend Campground. Tiny home. Let me get up here a little bit more. They say it flattens out again. Let's see. But this is an old road bed. See them up through there? This All this land is part of it. Now, what I would like to do on my resort, if you go to brotherscove.com, <clears throat> see how it's real steep down in here? We build platforms. Park your tiny home on that platform, right? And then you have this road to go by. And all your living is out looking at that view throughout there. Everybody, just wanted to show you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off. I was really excited about the land. We've never taken a day off just to go do something other than work. So, what's that? I'm good. This is kind of raw and old, just coming out here and just showing things without rehearsing or anything. And hopefully it's enough information to keep you excited about our, our business, about what we have in mind, and what we want to do. I just feel like tiny homes, this whole industry has really just given us a chance to just be creative and take land like this. The off-grid is what makes this possible. And this is what I love about it. But you can go to my resort. I used to own at brotherscove.com. And you can see that we have the ability to make this place gorgeous. Y'all have a good night. What are you doing? <laughs>